what is up my good people so welcome back again in this video as i guess you've already seen we'll be building an api endpoint in flask so just to mention we will be using sql alchemy and graphene so i'm a real fan of graphene and so we'll be building on graphene so building a flask application is really easy so the simple way a really easy way to build a flask application is to just create a folder and call it whatever name you want for instance you can say app and then just open in inside the folder and you can just create a new file and call it just like app.py so that simple and then just inside this app.py then you want to do whatever flask does like you initiate application and do that so that is the real thing i will not cover but in this app i should just show you right now what this app contains so i'll be building my project inside pycharm so i don't need this so i'll just delete that and then just create a new project and then i want a flask application and then just inside i, I have a folder for flask inside my desktop and then i'll just call it we'll be building an e-commerce a simple e-commerce so i'll just call e-shop yeah e-shop that sounds like a good name okay if your project was created by python then you have this application so this is simply you need to install flask if you created it manually and then just import from flask import flask and then this is definition of a router simple one so guys for these let us just check it real fast let me run it so you see the, the application i just pulled is over here it's saying hello world in the home route so that is it that means that our application is set so before we continue there are some few things i would like to mention to you guys the first one is we will be using lmbic to manage our models so to migrations to do migrations and such so let me enlarge this very fast so here is the way to install alembic so just copy this and inside your project since i'm using pycharm then it will be installing inside my terminal so i just need to paste this over here pip install alembic and hopefully if it does not already exist then it will install so another thing you might want to install is some few things first of all as i told you we'll be using alchemy so you need to install Al sql alchemy so it's just pip install sql alchemy that simple just paste it over here yeah i copy it so hit uh, enter to install sql alchemy so sql everything is in caps and then alchemy again caps um, since i created my project using pycharm then it already installed but i'm assuming that you was not installed so and then the next thing is we'll be building on graphene as i said so install as graphene alchemy so that will install everything for us in graphene alchemy the next thing you want to install is flask graphql so pip install flask graphql and just hit enter so that will set up our application ready for us to use as it does that let me just show you some few things so right now our application is built inside one file but that is not exactly what i want to do so in this first video i want to show you real quick how i normally set up my application so using we will be setting up our application to use the sql alchemy setting up the database and wherever and wherever so let me just very fast open over here open a new directory no python package so python package is simple i just a folder with init.py file inside it so let me call it config because that is basically what it will be doing it will be handling configuration for our project like the everything inside 
a configuration like settings of database setting up of our application and whatever so and then over there open up create a new file called database dpy so basically that is where we will be setting up our database configurations so over here you want to import some few things so we'll be using sql alchemy orm so just say from sql alchemy dot orm then import so first thing we'll be using is scope session because we'll be we will not be using the the default sql alchemy for flask we'll be using it directly we'll be using sql alchemy directly so we'll not be using the one that has been built for flask because that way we won't be able to use the graphql alchemy so that is why we will go with using it directly and then we will use again session maker another thing is we will need i guess over here there is everything we need and then finally we need some other few things again from sql alchemy dot ext dot declarative okay dot declarative import declarative base oh i said dot exe instead of ext i was wondering why am i getting that so if you have that set then we need to set our sql engine we'll be using in this video we'll be using just sql lite so what we need to do sqlite so we need to save our database inside our main project so first of all we need to get the path to our root project so so just say that the base da you can just call it any name but i'll just call it the base da is os so we need to import os so just import os then just say in os dot path as dot a b path absolute path and then we just the absolute path to our file so so you see over here we are getting the directory for our file which in this case it will return the config and then we are getting the path to our config which in this case will return eshop so that is how you get directory over there so the next thing we want to set now is our engine so our engine is basically the database we want to use so we will be using create engine so i, I think i did not import that from sql alchemy import create engine so because we'll be using this to create our engine which in this case is our sql if you have another database like postgres or mysql then again you need to check how sqlite and then over here you pass full colon and then just three so this is how we declare sqlite engine and then the next thing we want to do is just add part and then just say that our part in this case is we want to os dot join so we want to join this is how we create our sql file actually or we just say os dot path dot join and then the first argument is the base da and then just the second one argument the second argument is the file name which in this case we'll just call it db.sqlite so this is where our file will be created then you want to say convert unicode so that it can convert we set that to be true and then the next thing we want to create is our db now like connection to our db so that is basically like so we want to we are using this scope session which we created over here so this will link our current session to the db and keep the connection and then just say session make and then it takes in some few arguments the first one is bind we are trying to bind our engine which in this case is our engine and then the second one is do you want to auto flash now we say no another argument is auto commit 
we say again false so that is it for that and then let us call it let us not call it db let us call it db session so that i normally find myself if i use db then i normally find myself doing the old way for db dot session dot add and whatever and whatever but i want to so that when i see db session i know that it already has a session so and then just make the base a base which is the connection for our db and then just say it's declarative base so this is how we make it for connection to our this give us access to the db things everything and then just add our connection to this base so you just say base dot query is basically just db session our db session dot query property so and then the last thing we want to do is base metadata dot metadata so this actually will just allow us to like be able to create database migrations and whatever and whatever so the next thing we want again to do is we want to shift inside our app we want to shift the connection of our application from here to another file call inside over here we will make a file call settings which is basically the base connection to our file so let us call it settings dot py so over here we need to import these so let me just type this and place it over inside here we again over here we need to be able to shut down our session and wherever so that is basically we will control the shutting down of session inside over here so we'll just do up dot tear down that, that is basically uh, we'll be taking care of shutting down our database connection over here and then just say shut down session so and then just exception to be none and then just do db session we need to import that dot remove so this will be shutting down our session so just import this from session and just do some cleanup over here import up we don't need this router but i guess i'll just keep it then from settings from config dot settings Import app. Where is my settings? Yeah, yeah. I guess I was putting it in the wrong place. So I just refactor over there, so that to refactor all migration. So I forgot to put these settings inside our config. But I guess with PyCharm everything has been set. So I could just say from the database import DB session, and let us try restarting our application just to make sure that everything is working base no attribute metadata so it should be metadata and it say it's not binding to okay okay i forgot again to bind to the engine <laughs> which is in this case our engine so that is it and running now the server should work and you see we get this real nice and pulling it over here again you see we get hello world to mean that our application is still working so in the next video we'll start building on our models so in the next video let us build on our models and basically our models will be using this base so and again i will split my application into simple modules like you see i've been doing over here so let us see what i will do in the next video so guys please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and have a nice time